Like the boogeyman in the closet, there are a number of myths that have grown up around the fear of math, and you've probably heard many of them. They need to be addressed since accepting or believing these myths contribute to students feeling they will never be good at math. One of the most common myths is that some people are born good at math. This is not true. There is no such thing as a math gene. While some people find that math comes more easily to them than others, math is a skill that can be achieved with practice by all students. Learning how to do math takes good teaching as well as students who are willing to work at learning math. Learning math takes both time and practice. Like learning to drive a car or play the piano, math is a skill that can be learned over time. It doesn't depend on some innate talent. Unfortunately, there are also some people who believe that only brainiacs understand math and that math is too hard for the average person. Math is a process based upon some fundamental skills. Average people are quite capable of doing math. It's quite common to hear people say that women aren't as good at math as men. This is a sexist stereotype and often stems from the different ways we treat young boys and girls and the toys and games we encourage them to play with. There have been many outstanding female mathematicians, including a woman named Emmy Noether, who Einstein called the most significant creative mathematical genius thus far produced since the education of women began. Many people believe that math requires logic and not creativity. This is absolutely not true. Doing math requires much more than just doing calculations in order to get the quote-unquote right answer. In fact, many creative fields rely on mathematics. A few examples from daily living include stretching your budget through creative menu planning and calculating how best to manage your grocery money. When cooks double recipes or reduce them to serve only one or two people, math is used for a creative purpose. And whether a person does personal sewing or is a fashion designer, math is used to determine the amount and cost of materials required to make a garment. Music